previously on the Mike Knox show. Escobar beats his father. Then we get to, oh man, like we can talk bloodline stuff all they want to. It, it was great. And we're going to talk about it. Okay. I, I can't help but talk about it. But yo, LA Knight <laughs> incites a brawl at AJ Styles home and then gets arrested, y'all. Yeah! And that's all that man kept screaming in the police car. Yeah! The entire time, right? Look, this man goes into his yard. They brawl in the yard. First of all, um, this has to really be his house. I think uh, Vic has said on Saturday's show, look like it was in the compound that he had with him and Undertaker's match, right? But I was going to say is that, damn, a AJ, you got way more money than me. Brother, get your grass fixed. Get some get some sodding. Get something out there. Where, where's the grass? All right? But then he said, boom, they fighting. The cops are out there. This shit was great, y'all. <laughs> this was really, really good television right and i'm sorry in the back seat of the police car this man's just screaming it was that look it, it looked like an episode of cops so it really did meanwhile this man's this is what it remind everybody of some viewers may find the following video disturbing viewer discretion is advised yeah perfect plex radio we about to go live on them mike knox that's with three X's cause he's hardcore. Are y'all ready? We about to give y'all something special. You ready? Ready? Let's go! At the money, now you're all what you getting in. Perfect Plex Radio, got them listening. Mike Knox, from Cena to the Rock, or whatever wrestler is hot. News and interviews, it's a one stop shop. Matter of fact, let me give you more choices. You can call in and be the voice with the voiceless. So, what you waiting on? Let's get it cracking. Let's talk wrestling, that's enough rapping. <laughs> Perfect Plex Radio, simply, we about to give y'all something special. You ready? You ready? And it's just, a, I hate to say it, it's just a lot of fun to play. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the longest running wrestling podcast show, black ass, white ass, Asian ass. I don't give a F what ass you are. You've been tuned into the show the pros listen to, the Mike Knox Show, here on the best damn show in radio, radio networks. The Mike Knox Show here on Unpopular View Wrestling. People, oh, you see, I'm looking, I'm, I'm dripped out in my drip. Oh, I got my, hold on, hold on. I got to do my CEO, hold on, CEO, hold on, CEO, hold on, CEO. I mean, literally, that's how many times she effing does it. So, hold on, CEO, hold on, CEO. Listen, everybody, it's WrestleMania week. Oh, my God. And guess what, y'all? I'm not just celebrating my young king's birthday turning 16. Yeah, that's right. I got two 16-year-olds for the next 16 days, okay? My baby boy is born one pounds, 13 ounces, 284 days in the NICU, and he's 16 years old. Oh, I'm gonna get my praise dance on. Uh, 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 and it's WrestleMania season. And last year, I was in the hospital. And I'm here today to talk wrestling oh <laughs> god i'm here to talk wrestling and today on the mike knox show oh my god king vaughn are you ready you know what's coming vaughn you know what's coming it's a plethora a smorgasbord of wrestling talk today to talk about now i know you guys will come back on thursday you guys will hear on Popper Review Wrestling's prediction show. I don't know who's on it, but just better step your motherfucking game up. Because Mike Knox is here today, and I got the crew of crews and the show of shows, and I'm the host of hosts. So make sure you're tuned in, you're locked in right now. All Jerry Sears aside, make sure you like, follow, subscribe. More importantly, right, because everybody on YouTube says the same shit, right? Some say the same shit they be saying. Smash that subscribe button and the notification button so we go live. You know I'm live, okay? Listen, as my man Dice Man would say, we're not asking you guys to put some money in the collection plate. We're not asking you guys to pay for anything. No, no dinners on Sundays. No, you want you want baked or you want fried. We're not asking that. We're asking you to give us a free share. It may not be for you, 
but it definitely might be for your mama. Listen, I'm your host, Mike Knox, and that's my name with three X's because like this fucking jacket I'm wearing, I'm hardcore. And shout out to my people backstage, hold that man down. My man, King Vaughn Jr., 301 King Vaughn Jr. on the Twitter, the Victorious Ones podcast, the reason why I am the show, the pros, Ayatollahs and rock and rollers. Oh, listen to my man backstage with me now. The Z is silent, but frankly, if you know him, He's never quiet. It's a pun on words. Find out why the dice man has the Z as being silent. Check out his show as well, the SmackDown Review Show. And today, I'm being joined. I'm going to just say it right now. I don't give a damn what the owners say. I'm going to say it right now. You know why, Dice? I can say this. They say I'm on. They say, Mike, do what you want to do. You're an owner. You got to ask me. Freckle Sensei will join the program and the team. Y'all don't want him. Maybe not. I don't know. But he gonna come on my show. He gonna come on the SmackDown Review Show because I got some clout around this motherfucker. And I'm the final boss. Okay? So check it out. Before we go ahead and get the crew that's getting in live and live and we get in, calm down, Mike, before you pull. Brother, I was pulling something all night long last night. It was called Resurrection Sunday and I was resurrected. Okay? What's good, he Mike Knox, WrestleMania season, baby? How can I not be hyped for us? Many of the DC, the collector, chiming in. Good day. Rest of the crew as well. Smorgasbord. Yeah. Okay. No yeet in the house. And <laughs> we got, damn. We, we seven minutes in. And we got to say already, death to dirt sheets. I, 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 you see what it's written. You see it's on the screen, right? So I got to read it, right? I'm Ron Burgundy. It's on the screen. I'm going to read it. Hey, Dave Meltzer, you and your five-star ratings. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, <ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> I am hyped. It is WrestleMania season. This is just reason for us being here. I don't give a damn if you AEW, you Ring of Honor, you HOG, you NXT, you M-I-K-E. Shit, I was trying to say M-O-U-S-E. <laughs> matter who you are we are here today to talk professional wrestling as my wife just said happy parents day to us happy parents day to you baby because damn you get you gave me these kids you know what i'm saying and they all big heads skinny legs and love wrestling okay and they are some intelligent wrestling fans okay so before i go ahead and get the crew in i'm gonna be real fast in my weekend wrestling Okay, real quick, before I get them in for, because this is the Mike Knox WrestleMania prediction show, right? But I got to be respectful, honor or not, we got rules around here, okay? No locked doors! You bitches, 50s, bitches and titties, you got to make sure you're doing the right thing around here, right? So the prediction show for them will be Thursday, but my prediction show is today, so I got a crew. So real fast, let's go through the weekend wrestling. Oh, y'all see it. Mama Rhodes. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, I got the goosebumps right there. The Rock came out and surprised people. Oh, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be a week in wrestling. It wouldn't be the Mike Knox show. It wouldn't be you tuned in to the show for the Intelligent Wrestling fans if I didn't pick on my crew. So, yeah. Uh, Jeff, you off the hook this week. But let's positive them good-ass cheese things like grass turkey hub subs you got. I'm coming at you this week talking about when did the WWE surprise you? When is the last time they gave you something special? Well, The Rock came out on Monday and ain't nobody knew he was going to be there. Okay? And that man whispered in that man's and said, do you bleed? <laughs> do you bleed? First of all, any ass munch out there that thinks Batman can beat Superman, come at me, bro. That's the dumbest damn conversation in the world. Okay? He's Superman. There's nothing he can't do. I'm already sweating, y'all. You know why? Hey, DJ, you know my wife got me today for Parents Day? <laughs> I got that Chardonnay. <laughs> I got that Chardonnay, dog. Chardonnay pits, okay? Okay. 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 So listen, Raw in Philadelphia. Ooh, you so fine, girl. You better blow my mind. Starting off in Chicago. We knew CM Punk was going to be in the building. And we all know I'm a CM Punk mark. If I, if I rip this off right here, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want all y'all girls to get mad if I show her this extra belly I got and she gets excited. Okay, <laughs> okay. so CM Punk starts off the show because, damn it, I'm from Chicago. 
It's Chicago made Mike Knox, but Rose My Horizon made CM Punk. <laughs> All right, so he starts off. He's like, oh, dear, dear God, to my wrestling people in heaven, I don't know what they got for me playing right now. I don't know if I'm going to be a special referee He's, because I'm crippled. And every time I step in the ring, click, click, boom, I get hurt. But it's okay. I didn't want to lose to Dusty's kid, but I did. But at least they still love me enough to put me on WrestleMania. So, dear Lord, and your Golden Fleece Manger, please help me out. So, CM Punk comes out, and all that stuff I just said took place. He's on top of the stage, oh, and Pat McAfee going crazy because, you know, Pat McAfee's a little, he's a little loose cannon. For, for what it's worth, right? So Pat McAfee going crazy, the crowd going crazy, and then my man Drew McIntyre comes out. Oh, he got the he got the leathers, he got the leather kilt on the night, yo. That ain't a skirt. That's a kilt. There's a difference. Now, if you're from America, more importantly, if you're from the Midwest, the Northeast, shit, I'm a, I'm lying. If you're from America and you wear that skirt, it's a skirt. But if you're from Ireland, it's a kilt. Okay, so he came out looking all spiffy, got his legs shining, hair, his legs were shaved. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah, I'm here. Hey to you, CM Punk. Don't say that. This is a PG show. I, I don't have a, I don't have an, um, I don't have one of the accents, but I'm trying. This is a PG show. You know, I am the chosen one. He said, who named you that? Say his name. I dare you. Say his name. I'm going to say it. Vince McMahon named him. <laughs> that was Vince McMahon named McMahon. VKM called him the chosen one. You know how I know? Do you do? Do you? Do you know how I know? Because I got a t-shirt that says the chosen one. <laughs> that, that's how I know. Okay. And for all you people, the, all you do is complain. Let me just say one thing to you. And I'm going to stop the show off and I'm going to get out the way with for the people who are out there listening and waiting for me to say it. Solid player is the greatest women's wrestler of all time. Tell me when I'm telling lies. It had nothing to do with this segment. I just wanted to say it. Okay. So then you got him in the ring. He's talking his trash. And then this goofy guy comes out. <laughs> I'm Seth freaking Rollins. Everybody loves me. You don't believe me. They're going to just sing my song the whole time. I'm talking. Turn that shit down. I said I'm talking. Turn that shit down. I said I'm talking. <sighs> That's how it feels when, 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 when Seth Rollins comes out. But he comes out, he's like, yeah, you're not even here. Why are you here? No one cares, which is stupid, right? Because they're in Chicago. Everybody cares in Chicago, but quiet is kept. This is why I love wrestling fans and hate them at the same time because I'm walking contradictions. Shout out to my man, Watch the Bathroom, when we call Wise. Y'all know who he is. One day I put him back on the show. He was here in the early stages of the, of the BBSR networks. Um, they were like, Singing his songs. The CSA, CM Punk. So, like, wrestling fans, we're all stupid. It's okay. I'm stupid. Because at WrestleMania, I'm going to go, let's go, Cody Roman Reigns. I, I know the chance coming, so I'm just preparing my voice. Uh, just getting ready for it. I'm going to lose my voice. by like, as soon as Meek Mills comes out and sings Dreams and Nightmares in Philadelphia, we're going to lose our shit. Uh, Fragile Phil, put some respect on his name. First of all, I'm the biggest CM Punk mark you've ever seen. Okay? I got at least 13 CM Punk shirts. You know the funny part is? Out of the 13, 10 are all the same shirts. Okay? <laughs> it's just a, just, a, just a different, uh, not even a logo. Like, what do you call it? The outline of it. Just a different outline. That's, that's the only difference in the CM Punk shirts. But he comes out and he talks his shit. And that was a great promo. And again, this is the Swartz version. I'm, I'm speaking through it. Ooh. Hey, sorry, man. CM Punk and Drew was having fun. Out. Listen, they were spitting bars. And they was hitting below the belt last week. Personally, until The Rock came out at the end of the show, they were the best part of the show. Nothing could beat them last week to me. This scene was amazing. And I like the fact we have no idea what CM Punk is doing on, on Saturday or Sunday. We don't know if he's going to be commentary. We don't know if he'd be special referee. I hope he's a special guest referee. Personally, just because I'm in the building. As long as I get to hear the look in my eyes. I don't give a shit what happens, okay? <laughs> so I'm here for that, okay? But then we got this man, Cody Rhodes, comes out, which, again, wrestling fans, this is why I hate you, but love you at the same time. But I'm going to go back to my first statement. This is why I hate you, because you make me hate Cody Rhodes. And that's a shame. I like Cody Rhodes. I'm like a broken record. Shit, anybody know what a record is? All right, I'm like a scratch CD. Y'all should know what that is. Columbia House, One Cent's. 
32 CDs. All right, shit, fuck it. All right, I'm, damn, do, 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 do audio, do digital skip? They don't skip. Okay, but like a broken record. Um, I love Cody. His daddy's the reason why I like professional wrestling today. But you some bitches make me hate him. He comes out, he's talking trash, and then the greatest interest of all time in wrestling. I said it. The greatest interest in pro That man came out like Lord Raiden. Okay? The crowd went crazy. Y'all boo the man one second. Y'all cheering relentlessly the next second. He comes out. He tells Cody, hey, you little son bitch. Do you bleed? You will. And then, see that right there? He leaned into him with no facial hair. And I told y'all, my uncle told me, never trust a man without facial hair. Rock, I can't trust you. You ain't got a mustache. You ain't got a goatee. You just clean shaved and shit. That means you probably, you know, you're probably a manscaper. And that's your business. That's fine. I used to manscape, except for my face. Okay? It's nasty. Just saying. Like, you go down there, girl gives you, you know, girl gives you a, a nice time. She goes, oh, it's like a baby bird. That's the rock. It's like a baby bird down there. But I digress. Okay? And comes out, and after the show's over, look at Cody's face. Like, ooh, you some bitch. I pay the fool who get my way. Right? Then the rock said, listen here, you punk bitch. Right? Pooping his ass all over the place. Come here, you some bitch. Right? And everybody want to get max and rock be cussing. So I'm going to cuss like the rock cuss. Fuck you. Fuck your show. Fuck your story. Fuck you. You fucking fucking piece of shit. Fucking 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 fuck. Earmuffs. That's how much the rock cuss. I, I, that's not me. That's the rock. I'm just repeating what the rock say. All right? Don't be mad at me. He said it, not me. Right? Rock comes out, whooping his ass. Everybody, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun of all y'all at this point. So, um, let me see. You know who you are. Hmm. Who got some thick skin around here? Grand Body P. His show tomorrow. Mike Knox be on it. You know this time of year, sidebar, I am in really hot demand. I got five shows this week to be a part of. I love you guys. I love talking wrestling. But no offense. If I do my show on Monday, I do your show on Tuesday, your show on Tuesday night, another show on Wednesday, another show on Thursday, you think I'm going to change what I say? Okay, oh, La Spaza, let me come on and give you some printings with you. Uh, that's what you were on Thursday for, sir. Okay, that's what the Thursday show is for. Okay, you come on Thursday. This is my time. You sit back and listen to the show for the intelligent wrestling fan, and maybe, just maybe, you'll give me a free cheesesteak. Okay, Chris chimes in. I'm gonna lose it when Bailey wins the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania this weekend. Well, hold on, because my wife gets real mad when I say this. Hey, we want some baby. I gotta make sure, y'all. She gets real mad. Oh, look, y'all don't see DJ back. He like smacking it, smacking it, smacking it, smacking it, smacking it, right? So yeah, I'm with Bailey too, right? So he comes out and he got his album cover and Grand Body P and the Victorious Ones podcast. Everybody's talking about, ooh, rap albums, rap albums by, you know, The Rock. Ooh, The Final Boss. Get the CD, get the album. Blah, 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 right? So then, Hey, brother, do you bleed? I'm going to put your belt on you, put your face, your blood on this belt. I'm going to make you bleed, you some bitch. Okay, the rock official Batman, look at the blood. Come here, your cameraman. Yeah, that was funny. He's like, get in here, you some bitch. Let me see your face, right? And then SmackDown happened, right? Because that's that's, okay, I got to move fast. I got people on the show. We got It's only an hour show. I ain't got time for all this shit, right? So I got to move fast. Damn, Mike, I'm on the floor at work. That's <laughs> just not writing me up. Bruh, whose fault is that? Tell your manager to get tuned in and get locked in to the number one show that has been on podcast. It's your mama, daddy, sister, auntie, uncle, cousin, Luke, Lou, Nene, Patsy, all them people didn't know about. So share, like, and subscribe. And you won't be on the floor laughing your ass off. They'd be laughing their ass off with you. Y'all can play footsies. I don't know. So then SmackDown came along, right? And then look at that. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Listen, if you a heterosexual male, and you ain't get excited about watching those abs in the ring. First of all, if you fat and flabby like Larry Holmes, shit, I think I'm fat and flabby. But still, and you saw them abs in the ring, you should be embarrassed. At least DJ in the gym, right? And and at least he goes to the gym. He does some sit-ups every once in a while. Then his fat ass gets in a chair and he gets his relaxation on. And he goes, I'm just gonna sit back and relax. Look at them abs. Them chicks look better than all of us, okay? <laughs> and that's a damn shame, but it's a good shame because, damn it, that's Flamey Min Young. All three of them are married, right? So just imagine the good sex that them husbands is having with them ladies right there. That is black girl magic at its finest, okay? Acrobatic shit. Boom, boom, we got L.A. Knight, right? L.A. Knight comes out. First of all, shout out 
I'm gonna say this. This is gonna piss DJ off and all the AJ Styles fans. AJ Styles look like he's on steroids right now. I'm just being honest. I ain't never seen AJ Styles stacked like this. No ditty. Okay? I ain't never seen this man with muscles this damn big. I'm just saying. Damn! Never seen muscles like that. But AJ Styles out here sporting the muscles, all that ebony in one ring. Boys like ebony, no ivory. Go together in perfect harmony. But we're talking about these white people right now. We got AJ Styles and LA Knight on the screen. Yeah! I just said that, LA. Don't be doing that shit. I just told you you're on the screen. So don't be doing that because that's corny. Don't be yeah at me. Yeah, that shit in the back of the police car, you fucking fucking you ass. Yeah! Told you to stop doing that, LA Knight. Get in the back of the bus. Yeah! He knows his place. Get in the back of the bus. Right. So then, boom. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ooh. Then the wrestling world does what the wrestling world does. Oh my God. This was like Mercedes Monet's debut. She started to show off. She ended the show. They did the same thing that AAW did. Oh, I'm sorry. AEW has a, a stage. I guess they took that from WWE. AEW has commercials. I guess they took that from WWE. AEW has a world champion. I guess they took that from WWE. AEW has a women's division. I guess WWE took that from them. People, that's professional wrestling. There ain't shit that nobody does that ain't been regurgitated. Okay? So stop it. I can enjoy both these beautiful black sisters and don't have to compare them. Only dummy wrestling fans who never get laid say one's better than the other. DJ, dice man that is, Posted something in our chat today, talking about, they didn't say April Fools, that Mercedes Monet over Jade and Rhea Thickley because she has better in-ring promos and better in-ring work. So? You post that. I know why you post it. Because you have no girl, you have no money, you have no friends, and you need attention. Because us real adults who have all those things don't care. We're just here for the show. Okay? No one cares. Look at that. Look at... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just raining on myself right now. Okay? She comes out. Look at that. First of all, I don't know what the fuck she got on, but that shit was sexy, okay? Let's just let that be known, okay? I don't know, if the, was it leather? No, it wasn't leather. It was like some superhero shit, right? Let's just, 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 and, and I didn't get the picture, because, but the side ass between her and Selena Vega on, th on Friday night, oh my, the side ass? Okay, I don't give a damn who it is. That side ass deserves us to talk about it. We're going to talk about it one more time. Let y'all see that side ass in the discussion. Women who watch the program, I'm sorry. I'm a man, ain't I? Okay, <laughs> let's just talk about that right there. No, Tony, I don't got no cocaine for you at all, so stop it. Okay, so then she comes out, she signs her contract. Then, listen, what's not being spoke about is this corny ass match that's probably going to make WrestleMania. As of right now, it is not a WrestleMania match that is, they put the card out for. All right, I'm on WB.com as we speak. This is not an official match, which means to me they're going to the pre-show. That means, first of all, this tag team match, and I, I, I told Dice privately, there's no way that the New Day won. Matter of fact, I said last week on the show that New Day won, and uh, they weren't going to have two black tag teams in there. EC, just announced by SmackDown, general manager Nick Aldis, Bobby Lashley, and the Street Poppers versus the final test. That's a dumbass name. At WrestleMania uh, 40, Philadelphia Street Fight. Is that going to be a... Um, is that going to be an, uh, probably a kickoff match? I really hope it's not. Just for me. I I'm being honest. I really hope it's not a kickoff match. Because I think with having two days of doing this, that they need to have... <coughs> excuse me. They need to have more than... I don't think you should have a kickoff show, right? If, if that's fair. I can say that because it's, it's my show, right? I think kickoff matches suck. I think someone say, oh, they're getting paid. They're getting their money's worth. Blah, 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 blah. Nah, if, if, if I'm still trying to get to my seat, right? A la uh, Daniel Bryan and Sheamus at WrestleMania 28. I, I sat down. I put my I put my belts on the ground because I had too many damn belts to be out there in public. So yeah, everybody who wants to copy the belt kings, let me tell you something here. A, you're copying the belt kings. B, 
you fuck up your belt, take on the belts to wrestle. <laughs> okay? They get all scratched up. <laughs> they, they get on the ground, and everybody want to take a picture. And again, people out there, ooh, let me hold your belt. Are you a kid? I pose for the kids. Mike Knox loves the kids. I've been a little league baseball coach for 15 years. I love the kids. But from grown ass man who's 37 years old saying, ooh, can I take a picture with your belt? Get your own belt. Okay? Okay? It's a little embarrassing. You're embarrassing yourself. But anyway, they boom, boom, boom. That was a hell of a match. Why I took that picture. They beat up Bobby Lashley, and all of a sudden now, Zeki told him we got a match at WrestleMania. Then Bianca Belair beating the shit out of Io Sky, and then boom, she hits us with the with the move, and then all of a sudden, and this is where I, I'm gonna calm down. And in the words of my man Lance Storm, look at my face. If I could be serious for a moment, um, I love Jay Cargill. I love the things that Jay Cardell does in the ring. <clears throat> I stayed at WrestleMania. I can't remember, y'all. Help me out. What was one three years ago in Texas? Just type it. You know what it was. I was there. Right? Whatever the hell. All right, I got a, I got a private match. Are you talking? Are you taking a commercial break? <laughs> Damn it. You know you can't put that stuff in the chat. I'm going to read it out loud. Okay? <laughs> I will take a commercial break after I say this before we get to the prediction I bring you guys on. Okay? Um... I have been going a while. I need, I need some water. Okay, <laughs> so Bianca Belair, in all intents and purposes, whether you see it or you don't want to see it, it's, well, it's, it's what it is, right? You don't have to believe me. Ask your mama. Bianca Belair is the Jonathan Horatio Rodriguez, Tom Brady, Cena of the WWE. I've never seen John Cena take a backseat to anybody once he is stenched to a, a higher stage. Now, I was explained that on a SmackDown pay-per-view, he played back fiddle to Batista. No offense. A SmackDown pay-per-view is not WrestleMania. Okay? I do not like the fact that Bianca, to me, my opinion, don't like it. Listen anyway. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That she has to play back fiddle to anybody. Jay Cargill or anybody. I do not like it. I understand the moment. I get what the moment's supposed to bring us. I just don't like it. Not that I don't like Jay Cargill. Not that I don't like... Even the fact that Naomi had to put EST in the back of her head. Like, to over... To push Bianca. Bianca's on commercials. True fact. Right? Dice backstage. He'd be on in a second. He can be... It's the truth. Every single time that dumbass quick commercial come on with, oh, you're the cutest, and you're the fastest, and you're the strongest, I laugh every damn time, okay? I love Bianca Belair. Was I a fan of hers at first? No, I wasn't. I'm honest. No, I wasn't. I saw that uh, vignette that they played for her, and I fell in love with Bianca Belair, okay? Hands down. Hey, I love Jay Cargill, too. That match, I'm sorry, that's the match I'm looking forward to. Personally, she's Bianca and Filet Min Young herself. Listen, you ain't <laughs> Filet Min Young. Boy, you, you better get with it. Hold on, Master's calling here, y'all. See what this is. Hello? What? Who, who are you? I'm on air. Yeah, you gotta go through the front gate. You can't you can't go through the side gate, you gotta go through the front gate. You gotta go to the front gate to deliver the pizza, not the side gate. Yeah, the front gate. I can't hear you, DJ. You muted. All right, oh, ma'am. So call the other line. You gotta go to the front gate. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, is is All right. Listen, it's my son's birthday, man. His poo, his food's here. He wanted a pineapple pizza that nobody's gonna eat but his ass himself. Okay, which I think is crazy. And, and, and nobody's going to eat that shit but him. Okay? Who wants okay. a damn Hawaiian pizza? He is black, you know. I'm just saying. Okay? Let me get through this. You bring your f ugly right. faces on my screen. Because that was unprofessional, boss. Well, damn it. I'm You're out. the final boss. You can do what the hell you want to do. Okay? Okay. <laughs> there it is. So then, boom. Right? Anyway, she comes out. She's sitting all, all tall and strong in her B-boy stance. Just standing there, all tall and, and limber and whatnot. They all pointed the sign. Off air, by the way, which made no sense. Okay? And then there you have it, y'all. We'll be right back. We're going to take a break. The prediction show is here. Let's talk WrestleMania. I'm bringing on the crew. And we're going to talk WrestleMania, the Mike Knox Show predictions. We shall return momentarily. 
Because the only reason LWO was around is because of Eddie Guerrero. Uh, you know what I mean? So Rey Mysterio is the connection to that. The rest of those guys, you know, is, you know, they're pretty much only to get. This is only to get Santos over, right? This was he's, he's no the LWO. Him. No, no. Yeah, he's been LWO been, is not about getting Santos. Over. LWO is, you gotta go, go back to the go back to. You're the not you're Latino, boss. Tú no hablas español, mi hermano. Tú no sabes lo que es. Go back to you the. You don't know about that, boss. You don't know about that. Go back to the. You know what LWO is about? Listen, Vic. I don't have to know about. I don't have to know about any anything Latino. LWO is about selling shirts, man. Selling shirts is all about that. Because if you know anything about Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio, it's always been there. Um. But as far as AJ goes, he is a two-time WWE champion. He's a one-time Intercontinental champion, three-time inter uh, three-time United States champion, uh, one-time Raw Tag Team champion, and he's the thirty-second Triple Crown champion and the fifteenth Grand Slam champion, um, and a one-time Slammy Award winner with the Boneyard match with the Undertaker being match of the year. That was that, amazing. That best cinematic match. Um, no EST. Wait, and- is she pregnant? Bianca? Yeah. Oh gosh, you're feeling salty. Girl, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you don't remember when that girl did uh uh-uh. uh. And we are back and we are live and I am here and I am in charge of the program. We are here, people. Welcome. I got my man Freckle Sensei. You got that damn main event Jay Uso shirt on. God man, damn right. I swear, you mother suckers. And look at DJ just Yeet. as happy as you Yeet. can be. Yeet. Listen, we're going to talk about Yeet. Damn, hold on. Shit, I want to get involved in this. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> get up in on this shit right here. Okay, people. Listen, you're locked in. You're tuned in to the Mike Knox show. Hey, Vaughn, did you send me a video or are you going to do it live? I don't remember. Just text it in the inbox. I can't. Yeah. It came on air. I sent the video. You sent the video. I don't even have it uploaded. Okay. Yeah, I, I, check I, I email. get it right now. Okay. Appreciate you, as always. Um, so, the Mike Knox Show, WrestleMania predictions. All of a sudden, everybody want to jump in. I, I, love the, I love you guys. Okay? All I want from my crew is to make sure we're that shit as a crew. Okay? That's all I want, DJ. Is that so much to ask for? Never. I mean, I'm actually sweating. So that's what equity is its finest. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about Russell Mania. It's the reason for the season. Okay. It's the reason for the season. And I say this every year. I'm going to say to the day I D I E. Fuck your dirt sheets. Fuck your haters. This is the time of year to be a kid, to be a fan. Let's just flat out just enjoy wrestling. Okay. Let's complain about this person didn't have a match. Their person didn't have a match. Last time I checked, when, when I was homeless a few years ago, I ain't seen any of y'all guys saying, oh, my God, let's make a go for me for Michael. He don't have a home. I got three damn kids. Nobody made a go for me for me, but when a wrestler gets fired, y'all want to get playing. When Vincent Kennedy McMahon and Puff Daddy decide to say, I'm going to pass her around, all of a sudden it's, it's wrong? New Edition said for years, the whole crew used to bone her. I'm just saying. That ain't my words. That's Michael Bivens' words. Okay? So, let's talk about this match right here. The ladder match that only involves one black tag team and one half of a black person. I can guarantee you, our truth is going to either try to pin somebody or say he's afraid of heights in this match. So, I'm going to start with you, Freckle Sensei, as you are the newest member to the Mike Knox show, and you got that ugly-ass main event Jey Uso shirt on. Wow. Okay, I I can't hear you. Your microphone is not there, bro, just so you know. Come a little closer. Uh, Bring the microphone to your mouth closer. I don't know, but I couldn't hear you that well. uh, Can you hear me now? I hear you much better now. Yes, sir. All right. right. First of all, this shirt, piss excellence. Um, So, (laughs) my, my... My prediction, the, the irony of this is this match is going to be so wacky. <laughs> so whack? Because it, one, first of all, we got Miz and Truth in this match. We got we got Austin Theory and Grayson Wall in this match. We got the New Day in this match. We're going to be laughing. It's going to be a lot of high-flying spots. But for some weird, stupid reason, I feel like Miz and Truth is going to win this by luck. It's going to be something like the belts fall and Truth just stands there and catches it or some shit. Like, and, and if you think about it, WrestleMania always have that one match where it's just like you never saw the ending coming. You didn't know what was going to happen. You assumed something was going to happen. But it was like 
this just went left. And I, I feel like I feel like the reason why is because truth is gonna be the reason why they split the tag team titles. Because he's gonna try he's gonna try to do something stupid like split it and try to share it with DIY or something. But I, I definitely got Miz and Truth winning. I just have yeah, right there. And truth never won a WrestleMania. Truth never had a WrestleMania moment. He never had like that big WrestleMania moment. He's st stupid over right now. New Day doesn't need to be over. They over themselves. It's time for it's time for Damian Priest to leave Judgment Day. DIY, yeah. And Czech Republic, they're just new. And I'm waiting for Theory to to just turn face and battle it out with Grayson Waller. That's what we all waiting for. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't hear. We can't hear you. Yeah, but we can't hear yeah, you. I, I know that. I was muted on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying you you from Atlanta. Why does eight town down, which is for black people, by the way, um, got to be the one to turn face. But I get it. I understand that. And, and you're entitled to that. And you, that's your pick. You, you're, so you're picking uh, rated or truth. I'm, I'm going for that. I'm going for like the unpredictable because I thought I thought at first. I that think that's predictable that they win because of the push that everybody's cheering for 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 our truth. No. <laughs> They are pushing it, but like the realistic of it, you would think, nah, ain't no way. But I, I just see that they can, they like Miz is going to admit, first of all, we got to shout out to Miz because the Miz has been going on like a crazy run. This man has not missed mm -hmm. for like years. Like we can go back to even the Daniel Bryan few years. Like the man never missed. So I, I think it's time, like, like, like the person said in the, in the comment, our truth never won at WrestleMania. He never had his WrestleMania moment. Miz just took an L during WrestleMania, last WrestleManias. So it's just, it's just, it's just given that this is going to be the right direction. I hope it might be, I hope it is the right direction. Um, Cause then that means that Damian Priest is going to cash in. So, so I'm with that. What you got in this match, DJ Dice Man himself? Um, I said this. I said this on Saturday, uh, SmackDown Review Show. Oh, what show no. was that? Go ahead and plug that shit. Oh, come on, man! You know the SmackDown Review Show was on. All plug the time it. Now? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I told you to put it in my chat. Where's my welcome to the Uso Penitentiary? Oh, oh, good. oh, you want that hotness? That yeah, because I can't. I don't have it because unfortunately I don't have a SmackDown show. But you know I love the Usos like you when everybody was like, oh, I'm on side. Oh, hold on, what they say? Shit, they. Oh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who you got though? Who you got in this match though, brother? Um, uh, I said this on on Saturday that I think that somehow somebody's going to grab one colored belt, somebody's going to grab the other colored belt. Both of the GMs come out, um, mm. and they just agree to disagree, and they're going to split it. Mm. I think that's how you get rid of you 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 stop mm. this turmoil, and there's enough tag teams respect respectably to to be able to go after both individual uh, sets of titles. So. Um, I don't know who would win it, but if I absolutely have to choose, um, I think, I think WWE is red hot on the new catch Republic. I, I think they're why, red but... hot with them. Uh, they're great. I like them. No, I'm not, I'm not um, saying that. I don't know why they, they I don't know why they're so hot on them is what I'm saying. I think, I think that, uh, because yes, boy should be in this match in my opinion. They are more over. I will say that they're more over. DIY but, is coming up there, so I would say if if the if the belts are getting split, I'm choosing DIY and New Catch Republic. Triple H's guys. NXT 2000. Triple Triple H's guys. You know what? And I, I, first of all, that's the portion of the show I guess I missed. I was up there selling mobiles for my real job. Uh, <laughs> that I love that. You know I love a great storyline. I love grabbing one, grabbing the other. I didn't hear that. If I'd, have, if I'd have heard that when you were doing your show on Saturday, I'd have told you, that's great fucking booking. Okay? Um, I love that idea. Um, King Vaughn and popped up in this mother sucker. Uh, what shirt you got on there, boy? I can't see. Oh, it's Randy Orton's birthday as well, so it's a legend killer shirt. Legend killer. Oh. The only, the only, I'm going to say this one more time for those who didn't listen to the Mike and I show for the last 15 years. That's the person who should have beat the Undertaker to me. Legend killer. Was the only one not named Kane, in my opinion, to beat Undertaker. But who you got in this match, real fast? I'm gonna move on. 
All right, so I'm gonna go with uh, well, with Awesome Truth, you know, Miss R Truth by way of some type see? of flute type of thing. And so I, I see them taking it. Guess what, y'all? I'm gonna go against the grain and tell y'all because everybody's picking Awesome Truth. He's going on judgment day. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Judgment Day. I think they retain, mm -hmm. and I'm a Finn Balor mark. So there it is okay. for me. I mean, okay? I am too. I am too. I ain't gonna. I am. I, then I the match that. Oof. I've been really hard, pause, no diddy, on, Ooh, wow. on, on, I said, I said no diddy, dog, what the hell, ain't like a dreams <laughs> of fucking an R&B bitch, wow. I changed it, right, like, it you look so good, I suck on your daddy, crazy. no, I didn't say that, you know what I mean, um, I didn't like, n neither did you, Dice Man, okay, how they were propelling LA Knight to the, to the stratosphere, I thought he should have been built better, put him up sooner, you know, than what they are. And I think they did that pretty well. So I'm going to start with you again, Freckle Sensei. Who you got in this match? So, because it, it will only make sense because cause if not, then you just wasted like a good, like on this person, you wasted like a good amount of time. It has to be LA Knight. They already strapped him. He's going to he's going to win a mid card title next year. Um, so well not well I would say next season he'll he's going to win a mid card title. So you got to strap him and and it's a TNA passing of the torch ish type of thing too. If you look at it, AJ Styles face of the place, run SmackDown and everything. LA Knight he's literally he's literally stone he's literally I call him Stone Rock LA Knight Cold. Because that's basically what he Jesus. is. <laughs> just, that's basically what he is at, at multiple times. But yeah, you gotta give it to LA Knight. Like AJ, AJ been on this lone wolf type of gimmick um recently, but he he he's had WrestleMania moments. He he had the shame moment, he had he, he had the boneyard match, even though he lost the boneyard match, but that boneyard match was argue, was definitely the best cinematic match that we've had. Ever since it no, was, I, agree. I mean, so, more and Cena and bigger, you know, Cena, no, Cena and Bray Wyatt gets no respect. DJ, what's up with that? You know, but, so they don't, they don't, but I'm up there. That's that's one A, one B. It depends yeah. on what you like that day, but yeah, to me, either one of those could be argued as the greatest cinematic match of all time. Um, follow, I mean, you can put ultimate deletion in there because that's the grandfather. No, of I think that's, a moment sting in AEW is that first cinematic match that AEW oh, had with, oh, with, uh, yeah. with Darby yeah. Allen and yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the big that, dude. That was that was for for AEW's first attempt at a a uh, cinematic, cinematic match, match that was amazing. It was great. Yeah. So, and I, I don't want to be rude to you guys at all as I say this. Um, and I value your opinion. It is my son's birthday, right? So. Just be, I want to be a little bit quicker with the picks, if that's okay. That's okay, and, I, and that's my fault. Right. I went way too long on my weekend wrestling, so that's on that's on that's on Daddy Knox. Um, so you got who you got, Frickle Sensei, winning the match? I got LA Knight. LA Knight, Vaughn King Vaughn Jr. Seven twenty on Twitter, three hundred two. What's up? Who you got? AJ Styles, as you can see, my AJ. So you really went and pull out the shirt for that? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. pull out the shirt. <laughs> uh, oh, sweaty armpits. Who you got? Z is silent. Uh, a loss on AJ's record doesn't hurt his legacy. I, I feel like he does the job for, for LA. So, yeah! And I agree with you. Um, I think everybody's yeah. picking LA night except for King Vaughn Jr. here. Okay. We're going to Randy Keith Orton versus the real mega star. Yeah! 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 Just bring it, bitch! LA night. Not in the picture. <laughs> Logan effing Paul and one of my favorite indie guys in the past 30 years, Kevin Steen. Oh, shit, that's not his name. Kevin yeah. Owens. I'm saying right now, I'm going with um, Logan Paul to win this match. Uh, Z is silent. Who you got? Um, SummerSlam is going to be in Cleveland. I got to agree with you. I think that he they, they give him a, a favor and let him go into uh, SummerSlam with the belt, but he will drop it at, at SummerSlam. Well, why are you going so far ahead? We like months away. We talking about WrestleMania, man. Why you gotta get everybody? I know you're intelligent, so you listen, you're tuning in with the intelligent show for the intelligent listen, wrestling man, fan. I just like damn. to say I told you so. I just like to say I told you so. <laughs> what, what's going on here? Yeah, what happened? 
<laughs> what's, what's going on here? All right, who you got, King Vaughn, winning this match? All right, then I'm going to have to go with Logan Paul. As much as I want Randy Orton to win, I think Logan's going to end up taking it by some type of fluke. Okay. Uh, Freckle Sensei. Sensei. I love Kevin Owens, but yeah, Logan Paul. Everybody I, says I, I Logan Paul. Z. Z. So for what I, you I got Z with that smart. one. I for believe what? everything that Z said, I believe it at the same time. I was like, yep, it's going to be in Cleveland. He's going to, yeah. DJ Dice, don't make fun of me. I will see your whole damn government. You know it's a birthday party going in the background, okay? Listen, listen, I'm about, I'm about to I'm about to refresh because I don't know what just happened. I think Thanos snapped something. You're just frozen on my screen, so yeah. everybody else oh. is moving. So I, I'm, I'm refreshing. No lie. I see it right now. I am frozen. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, so it's not us. It's not I us. see it. First of all, take a screenshot of that picture, right? I look like I look smart right there. I know. Okay. You, you like you don't know what two plus two is. <laughs> it's giving it's all. Stop it, stop it. It's giving it's giving like, I know I'm not the only one. All right, there it is. There you go. He's moving. Yeah, you're good though. You're good though. Oh man. Yeah, she has a pulse. <laughs> all right, I hit the button on my. You know, like, shut up. Don't be making fun of me on my show. Okay. Um, <laughs> next match. Um. Hold on, time out real quick, because I don't mean to put you on blast real quick. But I, I just asked you in a private chat if you need to show graphics. You already had them drawings. I said, yeah, I have them. No, I asked, did you need them? No, I put, oh, I put yes, but I meant like I had them. Okay. Oh, you, I did ask if you need them. All right, if, if yeah. you have them. All right, come on. Okay, so we both, I can't read. I'm we actually, as I see the question over, it's about a 50-50. Okay. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> okay, but no, I, I really am dyslexic, okay? But I got them, okay? Come on now, let's be real here. Who... Who put this shit together? Me! That's who! You know I got him. I've been here all day. Who works from home and can't get pictures? Okay? All right. Sammy fucking Zane. You know I'm a Sammy Zane mark. Taking on Gunther, the longest Ooh. reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time. Okay? And after watching the greatest A-E, A-N-E, Dr. Baca, whatever fucking mystery you want to name it, biography you've ever seen. If you the haven't greatest. seen it, go watch it. Roman fucking reigns. I'm going to say this because I said it before. If you don't remember, I'm going to say it again right now. They wanted to fight me at WrestleMania in New Orleans because I was cheering for Roman Reigns. When I cheered for Roman, even in Orlando the first time, and he got booed, y'all wanted to fight me. I've been a Roman Reigns mark from day goddamn one. And he put over Sami Zayn and his biography. Yeah. There is no way Sami Zayn's not beating Gunther for his Intercontinental title. There it is. I got Gunther. I'm going with you next, King Vaughn. Who you got? I got the ring general, Gunther. I said all that shit you said you got the ring general. Okay. Who I, you got I, am also, I am also with the ring general. Because general? General. Well, you know, you, know Dollar, you know that Dollar General is going out of business, right? Yeah, listen, they need to. They're, it's the messiest convenience store I ever did see. Oh um, no, Dollar, Dollar Tree pretty but, fucking dirty. But listen, if you're gonna tell me for the past <laughs> let the last week that 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 um was was Gable can teach Sammy Sammy Zayn all he knows in one week how to beat Gunther, no, no, uh, uh if if whatever happens with Roman, Gunther has to move up. He can't do it yet right now. He st he stays with that title. Yeah, I have I have one segment for you on that comment. <laughs> I want you to fire me, you fucking mark! It's Freckle Sensei, who you got in this? I don't even know why Sammy is in this match. So, Gunther. It's DJ, it's not even his show, it's my show, and I want to walk off I don't right know now. What? Damn! All facts have been said, I can't move yet. All facts have been said. He doesn't even go He's here. Like, <laughs> you know what? Gunther's Colossus. Straight okay, up. the dice. It's coming up soon. We already got a bet already off air and on air shit everywhere. Uso versus Uso. I'm taking bets for this. I got a I'm dollar. I'm taking all bets as I well. I got a dollar what bet, which is, you know, you, know, you, know, you know, like a dollar, DJ. All right, that's my red pop bet. I got Sami Zayn winning this match. Who got my dollar? Who, who want to take this bet that Sami wins this match? You so sure, main event, Freckle Sensei? I got a dollar. What you got? I do it. Talk I do it. Talk you got a dollar? Roll. What's I, I up, Dice? Roll. You got a dollar? Let's talk, let's talk after roll. I gotta oh. see what happens tonight. <laughs> I gotta see what happens tonight. First of all, after, I, I wanted to say right here, right now, that's why he's an intelligent wrestling fan. 
let me see the story because hashtag get story line. okay and i'm not gonna lie to you after last night i changed my pick for a couple of matches i'm gonna call in a second here just so you know okay um one more match before we take uh, before we get into the weekend wrestling we got shit she's a, she's around y'all she's around y'all hey we want some bad hey Thank you, Dice. Thank you, Dice. Thank you. Take it on EO Sky. I'm taking Bailey win this match. Does anybody don't think Bailey's going to win? Speak. No, nah, Bailey deserves her moment. All right. We're moving on. Saying, no. We all know <laughs> Bailey's winning. Okay. There it is. Then we got, we got, who? Can ooh. I get to the yams? <laughs> this tattoo. R this tattoo herself. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo. Ta tattoo? We're going to get a tattoo. A tattoo? Well, she got a new book out, though. The Man, Becky Lynch, taking uh, on I, Rhea I Thickley. I have not been on the Becky train for this whole storyline. You haven't been I on Becky Lynch's train been, ever. I have been. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the man. However, I, watching her do I hate the man. You know I hate the man. But watching her do press and watching her talk about her book, and I just Speak watched about whatever it. show Speak about uh, it. on YouTube. Yeah called your last meal where she just sits there and talk about her and, and eats her last meals if she was gonna die i i'm on i'm on the becky train i, I actually like her again uh it, but it's the same with rhea ripley rhea ripley's on press and it's making me fall in love with her even more than that fat ass so um i don't know who i'm going with but i just know that what sensei said can i get to the yeah uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, I got rhea thickly winning this match who you got king vaughn even though I was a Becky's book sign, I gotta go with Rhea. Even hold on. First of all, oh. you a turncoat. Yeah, I saw that picture. <laughs> hold, on. hold on. No, 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 no. We're about one thing only and one thing forever on the Mike Knox show. Oh shit, the music stop. <laughs> I ain't stopped yet. Okay. Um <laughs> We need to grab the audio and play it in the background. You didn't pay show. the whole I do I, I Listen, you the fucking backstage producer. Give me the goddamn audio. Shit, don't tell me on air and embarrass me. What I mean? Okay. Uh, hey, yo, shout out to shout out to you. That safe word is mommy. <laughs> My safe word is hey, CC fly. My safe word is CC fly. Okay. Hey, <laughs> if you watch Entourage, you know what CC fly stands for. That is okay. Great. Uh, Freckle Sensei, who you got in this match since Vaughn out here buying books and autographs and ain't gonna even pick her? <laughs> well, you know, I love a good book, but what's going on, Eric? I ain't reading that shit. Rhea Ripley for the oh, one. <laughs> give me wow. the audio version. Audio, they don't make fun of people who read who go through audio books. I'm like, yo, I read Will Smith's version. book. I, I read Tony Dungy's book. I read, I read 50 Cent's book. And DJ be like, you ain't read shit. You heard the book. So what? <laughs> I got too much thing going on to stop my life and read fucking ink on a on a on a piece of paper. I got I mean, time for that. Lie about Talk it. to me. No, that's good. I want you to lie about. It. I want you to be. Hey, I want nothing to be wrong real with Spotify Premium. God damn it. <laughs> so who you? I'm sorry. I I, I interrupted you, Rick Woods, and say who you going with? Uh, thick, thick, thicky Ripley. Thicky Ripley. Yeah. It's Ricky. Rhea Thickly. Let me say Rhea Thickly. Okay. So I'm going with Thickly. That's three to one. No, that's every all four of us went with Rhea Rick, Rick, yeah, Thickly, okay. right? Did yeah, you say? Yeah, I said I'm trying to get to the game. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm going to take a break before we talk about this match right here, the Black Excellence match. Okay, we got two shows coming this week, y'all, because yeah, we're please. finishing out our Oscar winning. No, we, already, we did the part already. So why is that damn in my backstage? Get the shit out of here. Get out of here. I just deleted you. Okay. Oh, oh you put it. Welcome to the SmackDown Penitentiary. The fastest rivalry show. That's what it is. That what it is, yo. But um, real quick before you go to break, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow, top five WrestleMania Ooh. shows from one to nine, seven o'clock, down seven p.m., seven o'clock on the drop. I'm in the drop. Top me, cruising EZ, the streets. And, uh, Mike Knox, you know the the incomparable three, the incomparable three, really the big three. Honey, that what we the big three. Waiting for me. We out here. We we the Kendrick. We the J Cole. I we the Drake. Up. Uh, uh, what is hey, going on? Why are you I, I gotta say, fuck with the break, yo. I gotta say this, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Michael Tarver has been on my program twice. That man put up a fucking picture that said J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick versus him and two other motherfuckers. I don't know. Who you got? 
What do you think we got? We be right back, y'all. <laughs> yo, 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 it's crime time. E-S-T. Soul Man, Rocky Johnson. It's the Honky Tonk Man. M-W-O. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? UPR and Around the Blocks give to you this week in wrestling history with King Vaughn. All right, so I've been drinking. So give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to load it. <laughs> wow. The only reason LWO is around is because of Eddie Guerrero. Hello there, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, of course, this is King Bond Jr. the Victorious Ones podcast and Perfect Let's Talk Radio. Here to give you the week of wrestling history. On March 31st, 1985, was where, is where it all began at WrestleMania 1 in Madison Square Garden. And of course, the main event was Hogan and Mr. T defeating Roddy Piper and Paul Orndorff. And of course, on, on that same day, 1996, WrestleMania 12 took place. Of course, that was the night that the boyhood dream came true as a heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels defeated Brother Lee Man Hartley to become the World Wrestling Federation champion for the first out of three times um, and so for, in a 60-minute Ironman match, by the way. Of course, on the same day in, uh, in 2015, WrestleMania 31 took place. And that was the night most most known for Seth Rollins cashing in to become the new uh, WWE the new, um, WWE World World Heavyweight Champion. He cashed in on Roman Reigns and, and took the belt away from Brock Lesnar. Um, so, so of course, on April first, nineteen ninety, WrestleMania six took place, and the main event of that was was an Ultimate Warrior defeated Hogan uh, defeated Hulk Hogan for the WWF Championship. And on the same day in 2000, 2001, WrestleMania seventeen took place. And the most famous matches for that for for that night with TLC two, with Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys, and the Hardy Boys, with Edge and Christian winning, and and it also we saw Rock Rock Austin two at Stone Cold, uh, won the WWF Championship once again, but this time by, by infamously turning heel. And uh, of course, on that same day in two thousand seven, WrestleMania twenty three took place as John Cena defeated Shawn Michaels uh, to retain the WWE Championship, and Undertaker defeated Batista to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Of course, on the same day. In, in 2012, WrestleMania 28 took place. Uh, Rock, Rock Cena uh, Part One as Rock One, and of course with the end of an era match with the Undertaker defeating Triple H and Hell in the Cell. April, April 2nd, uh, 1989, WrestleMania 5 took place. The Mega Powers explode. 2000, WrestleMania 2000 took place. Uh, of course, Triple Threat Ladder Match. In 2012, Brock Lesnar returned. April 3rd, 2005, WrestleMania 21 took place. Cena won the title for the first time. Batista defeated Triple H for, uh, for the World Heavyweight Title. In 2011, WrestleMania 27 took place. And of course, on April 4th, 1993, WrestleMania 9 took place. And of course, on April 5th, 1992, WrestleMania 8 took place in, in 2009. 1992, WrestleMania 8 took place in, in 2009. WrestleMania 25 took place for Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Birthday, so on April 1st, Randy Orton, the legend killer, the Viper, turns 44. Scorpio Scott turns 41. April 3rd, Lance Storm turn, turns 55. April 5th, Dominic Mysterio turns 27. Uh, Diamond Dallas Page turned DDP turned 68, Charlotte Flair turns 38, and Sika, father of Roman Reigns, turns 79. And that's your week in wrestling history. Mike Knox, back to you. Well, me. Okay, is it just me? I, I'm the only one that can hear anything? No, we can't hear him. Uh, no, he had not. that pizza. He was scarfing down that pizza. Cruz, I was making fun of your ass like a motherfucker too. <laughs> I was like, we can't see DJ because he's smoking probably. And meanwhile, I was muted, so it didn't even matter. So we got the Asian persuasion taking on the black, not Caucasian. We got the black girl magic, Jay Cargill. A storm is coming. We got Flamaine Min Young, and we got the EST of the WWE. You can't spell WrestleMania without EST. No, she's right. Okay, so in this match, let's just be honest. Does anybody think the Kabuki Warriors and King Cole is winning this match? No. Okay, we're moving on. Unfortunately, no. All right. Jay's going to get the pin, but that's yeah. it. Yeah! Okay. Here we go. Here we, here, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. My money's on. No! Yeet! Win this match. Okay. And, but in all fairness, I don't think he's going to win. 
So on, I want him to you win. Saw, you, saw the bi- you saw the biography last night. You yeah, I, I, I did. You I did. on that mostly. I did. I did. Turn so. the man into the name main event. AKA the right hand man. That's one of the dopest monikers. I love it. I I went yeah. out and immediately got me a right hand man shirt. I, 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 I actually yeah, love I what it. he said about him though, Dice, when he's like, um, I made you I made you care for Jay. About Jimmy, Jay and I made you wonder. want to know about Jimmy. About Jimmy. Yeah. Yes. I, I thought yes. that was again, the biography is not so great because it's about Roman. It's about everybody speaking about Roman. Hours. Yeah, it's about they gave well, everybody else one. Well, about an hour and a half when you watch it on demand, right? Uh, so yeah, well, um, I, I loved it. I, I think Jimmy should win, and I think I'm saying that not just because as a fan, and I'm not a fan more of Jimmy than Jay. I just like going against the grain. Jimmy okay? needs to be elevated, to, but to, I think to Jimmy brother. needs it more than Jay because Jay's already main event. He got the crowd rocking. I think Jimmy winning. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going with I'm going with Jimmy to win this match. I think he needs it more to win the match. Um, I'm gonna go with Freckle Sensei first. Who you got winning this match, sir? I got Jay. I, of course, I got the shirt on. Uh, yeah. Jay. Okay. I, yeah. Up down, up Everything down, that you up said down. that Jimmy needs it, I feel like Jay needs it to solidify. Like you can't be the main event and you can't get over the one person that's been a thorn in your side since you've gone solo. First of all, so who, who was that? The said no. Put him back up there. You, you no, just you know no, what? No. You know what? He got the star. He got the Listen, star. <laughs> let me just say this right here, right now, y'all. I am. How, how many subscribers we got, DJ? Uh, we're close to a, we we just nah. We fuck you, PR. No offense. How many people that okay. Mike Knox got? Oh, you asked me. You asked me stuff. I'm at eight eighty one. Jesus. If I get to one thousand, when I get to before mania, huh? Get to nine hundred before mania. Get to one more time. Nine hundred before mania. Get okay. to nine hundred before mania. Yeah. If I get nine more subscribers, I'm gonna give out a special WrestleMania jacket mm. from a really good um, source that rhymes with bulk mines. Right. It, what he said. Cause I can't. No, rap. Right. Okay. Can't say it on here. If I get to 1,000, when I, let me rephrase that. When I get to one, well, no, when he said 900, you said 900. I was going to go to 1,000, but you made get me look button, cheap. So when I, get, when, I, when I get nine more and we get to 900, I'm giving out, what happened to Freckle Sensei? Nine more. We're at, we're at 881. The dog on there that says no yeet. Now my name is no yeet. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on. Pineapple on the pizza. That's what my son got. He wanted. He wanted a pineapple pizza. Okay. Smart First of man. all, that's disgusting. Um, no, it's not. It's bitter sweet. It's like sweet and sour. No, no. You know it's bitter sweeter. Heart s in the d and me going oh we. Okay, that's bitter sweet. Okay. But when I get to nine hundred followers, I'm gonna give a, the random person at from the next ten subscribers. So tell your mama. To tell her auntie, to tell your cousin Aunt Ayala and Aunt Mary and cousin Cecil and Antoine, whoever gets me to a thousand, I'm putting a, I'm putting in a random randomizer of all y'all. Winner will get a special WrestleMania 40, not line, WrestleMania jacket. How about that? I'm giving out a jacket. I'm giving out a people give out belts. First of all, that belt you don't even like it. Okay, y'all give out. Turk t-shirts and stuff, you don't even like them. You all like WrestleMania. I'm giving out a WrestleMania jacket. Subscribe and follow below. I'm giving out a jacket, DJ. That's what it is. I don't give a shit. I'm giving out a jacket. Okay? Right now. All right? But I got no yeet. You got yeet. He got yeet. Who you going with, King Vaughn? Jay. It's you know yeet mania. I, I can't, you know what? Mania. First of all, first of all, when, when we meet you, at WrestleMania this year for karaoke, you owe me a drink for that bullshit right there. I'm telling you right now. No, I'm, I'm being the truth. When I see you, I would say, where's my drink? So don't get mad at me when I say, what do you mean, where's my drink? I don't even drink. You owe me a drink because that's some bullshit. You're supposed to be on my side. Okay? All right. Then we got the man hair. I call him Little Seth versus Big Seth. Okay? <laughs> I think Big yeah, I Seth it, wins this match. I don't care how he wins it. I think Drew McIntyre wins this match. I'm talking with you, Zia Silent. Who wins this match? 
Drew. Is that uh, Freckle Sensei? Who you got? Drew. Uh, King Von Jean, who you got? I got a groundskeeper Willie on steroids. Uh, Drew McIntyre's winner. Damn, we all went with Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Priest cashes in. He cashes in to lose. How about that? I, I don't get why all this shit all of a sudden become where J Jamie and Priest is going to cash in. He He's got win. beef with Drew. He got he beef got with you. Drew. He's actually getting he's actually getting a really good following. So uh, that's cool. Let Drew let Drew and and Damian go over for that no, that title that. for a want, couple of weeks. Um, let Seth take a little break. He, he's still not a hundred percent. He's a good eighty percent, but he needs to be a hundred percent. Let him take a little break. He's he's done enough. He's done enough. So uh, yeah, Drew and Drew and Drew and uh, Damian have some beef. Let them let them uh, hash that out. Put it on a put it on the uh, old skillet there. Then we got the tag team match that nobody asked for. We got, we got the the bloodline. Do you smell what the bloodline is cooking? Versus Drew McIntyre. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Seth Rollins. He looked like little Drew. Uh, versus <laughs> Cody freaking Rhodes. If Cody Rhodes and, and, and Seth Rollins wins, bloodline, no one could be at ringside. Mm -hmm. However, if Rock and, and and the Tribal Chief wins, then it's bloodline rules. All right, who you got win this match? Freckle Sensei. We all know what we want, so we got the rock. Versus, we got the rock and Roman winning because we we want to see the bloodline interfere. We do. <laughs> you got this one. Um, yeah, I mean, he's right. <laughs> as we can hear the fucking dough. <laughs> this guy, listen, if you don't know by now, I am the originator of where Barbershop Talks meets Radio. Okay, oh, yeah. so is it the Barbershop? Is it the barbershop? Yes, it's the barbershop. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, we can't talk straight in the barbershop. Then where can we talk straight? We can't talk straight nowhere else. You know, this ain't nothing but healthy conversation. That's yeah, all right. Got the park I mean, it ain't nobody exempt in the barbershop. You know that. Ain't nobody yeah. exempt. You can talk about whoever and whatever, whenever you want to in the barbershop. No, 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 no. Who you got, uh, King Vaughn Jr.? I got the bloodline. You know, bloodline rules, man. Rock and Roman. Uh, Z, it's silent. Who you got? Take uh and indulge me and take a trip in my mind real quick. I'm going to a mad scientist thing right now. Um, I feel like we're about to get a a a civil a WWE civil war moment. Boy, you are yeah. smacking in that microphone. Of course um, I am. I'm hungry. I, I feel like I feel like yeah, the Easter egg that everybody's it's talking more. about with Cena and Austin in the background may come into play, but the object and 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 and. The bloodlines rule match is the bloodlines that have to do anything to keep Cody away from it, and the rest of WWE roster will do everything to get the belt away from Roman. Mm. Mm. Bloodline wins. Rock makes Cody tap to the to the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter. I don't see it in Cody's nature to tap. So yeah, yeah. yeah that man just that's a whole match with a damn torn pectoral muscle. Wow. Right, Rock's got the weakest sharpshooter. Okay, I, I just don't see he that one happen, but hey, we, we don't know, so I'm gonna I'm respect your opinion for, for now. Okay, now come okay. Sunday or Saturday, I'm gonna say, <laughs> but right now, respect. Okay, then we got the main event the Uta Crawl to the Coup de Gras, your tribal chief, acknowledge me. Acknowledge me! And my kids are yelling in the background. I'll let him. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Freckle Sensei, since you're the rookie here on the program. Who you got in this match and why? I got Cody. No, there's no way that you leave a whole nother program. You leave a whole nother EVP position just to never win the title. You, <laughs> This is it. This is like this is like the big shebang for him. He don't need the consolation prize title of the the other title that we don't even give a damn about. The only reason we care is because we want to see Drew versus Sam and Punk for that title. Cody, Co Cody's winning. I I think I think I, I agree with the same thing as he said. It's going to be a civil war. Somebody's going to come out besides Dustin. We all know Dustin's going to sh show up on for this match. Let, let's be honest. Dustin's going to show up. He don't give a damn. He don't give a damn what Tony Khan says. He's showing up. But somebody else is going to show up, even the odds. And I guess. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I'm laughing because as you're talking to your soliloquy, all I hear is. 
<laughs> Yo, I, ain't gonna lie. No, it's, it, I had my it's microphone ASMR. muted. That's a bullshit. I can't wait to listen to this. I can't this. wait to just listen to it, yo. Because you, <laughs> this is <laughs> more <laughs> ASMR edition. <laughs> Damn, who you got this match, uh, uh, King Vaughn Jr. Tribal Chief, baby Roman Reigns. Executive, uh, not consulting because he's just trash and he's not here. So the Z is silent. My VP of uh, of, of social media. Who you got? Uh. Come on, man. After that beautiful a &E biography, you guys going to ask me that? <laughs> With no question. That man said, when I drop this title, then I'll retire. Y'all, I'll keep telling y'all every show that we get in these conversations. He's not dropping that belt until he drops Hogan down those ranks. They want to update these systems and these old motherfuckers got to get pushed down. These records got to get updated. So for now, I acknowledge you, Tribal Chief, for bringing me some of the best pro wrestling I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. But it's still yeet all day. Knock the yeet out of his ass. That's what, he, that's what Tribal Chief going to do. He's going to knock the yeet out of his ass. Ah. So up taking it? Wise man. I try to tell him over and over and over. They don't get it. They just don't love this. You mean it doesn't mean anything to you? You won't fight for it? That's what you're going to tell him. You're going to talk to him like Sami Zayn. You stupid. That's my favorite line yeah, yeah, of all times. You stupid. Okay. Let me just say this. Through all of that soliloquy. All right. In all fairness. In all realness. I have said for several weeks leading up to this. That I thought Roman Reigns would win. A part of me thinks just to piss off the fans, Roman should still win. And I still believe that they want to break HH's record and get him to Madison Square Garden, which is a day after for Survivor Series that he beats HH's record. But after watching the biography on a &E, Despite that, after you the other way? watching sure. last week on the program where yep. they did give me what they gave me, and that was Cody Rhodes getting that ass whooped backstage by Thank The Rock. Man. I don't know anymore, and I'm being honest. That's the right? Beauty. Because... No one in the history of wrestling that I can remember, correct me if I'm wrong, please comment below, let me know. When everything seems to be a duck and quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a goddamn platter puss. Mm. Chicken. Finish some fur. If you cook it good enough, there. it tastes like chicken. That's what Tasha Mack said. That's what Tasha Mack said. That's what it is. Because of all of that, I think Roman still should win. But I think they're going to go with Cody. And I haven't said this until this moment. I haven't said this privately. I haven't said this anywhere else. This is the first. Yep, yep, yep. My girl Diane from Blackish, one of my favorite gifts of all time. I think Cody wins. Mm. I think that they're giving in to the Cody crybabies. I think we still get Rock and Roman next year, a year built out from this. Sometimes. I think Rock causes Roman the title. Now, let me park on lot that for a moment and say. I would love to see MJF show up. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it makes the most sense if they can sign MJF to come over and pay the difference of him buying out of this contract because it makes sense for MJF to beat him. But it also makes sense for someone like... You muted. 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 You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. We can't hear you. All right, sorry. Uh, we can't hear you, Mike. Now put it in the chat. <laughs> we can't hear you. We can't I hear you. Know, I come back. <laughs> Try it again. I did it. We can't hear him. He stepped on his. He stepped on his court. 
He's stepped on his court. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and we got excited. We got excited. Listen, I'm going to take it from here. Listen, Chris, you want to you want to state that question to black people? Yeah, wait, like whoa, black whoa, people, whoa, whoa, black people, black people, black people like 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 Vaughn and 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 and, and Mike Knox. They do care about Hulk Hogan's records because they still ain't forgave that man. They ain't I never gonna forget that man. They ain't never gonna forget. So therefore, for those type of fans. Beg your point. Not even if the even if the colleagues, even hello, the- yeah, no, I'm old. I can't see shit. Oh, oh wow, oh, man, oh, my God. is that loud? Oh, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Oh my God! You But this is the time you need to meet. <laughs> I had a beauty. Listen, rest in peace to everybody that got on earbuds right now, including me, because he just shredded. He just shredded me right now. Mike, get your sick, get your sound right for the for the end of your own show, man. Come on, you already went over time. We're trying to end this thing. We we can't do it without you. I'm sorry that he had did it. Everybody who got earphones on. <laughs> How I sound now? Oh, you are still killing us. There's nothing I can do about it until we're all fair. Okay. So, and, and, I, it's all the way down. Okay. So, yeah, without, with, so just to move on and, and try to get over it, and I apologize. I somehow my foot touched this to speak or whatever. Um, I think Cody wins. And I think it's bullshit that Cody wins. I think Roman should win the match. But after watching the AE special, I think Roman wins. And there it is. The Rock wins the match. And it's loud. And I apologize. It's I messed up. I've been drinking. And I apologize. So, Dice, do me a favor. I can take you out. Yeah. Yeah. Take me out of here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Once again, thank you. You've been listening to the Mike Knox Show with everybody. Uh, now, we're already on Monday, so later on tonight, you can catch the, uh, the Monday Night Review Show. Then Tuesday, you can catch NXT Review Show, AEW Dynamite with Dan and Man and Vinny. Thursday, we'll have the WrestleMania Prediction Show. Then Saturday, you can come and watch the fastest rising show on UPR with myself and Vic. And then Saturday night, depending on if somebody feels like it or not, you can catch Collision right yeah. after Collision goes off. Now, Tomorrow, uh, make sure you guys tune in 7 p.m. You can catch Top 5 with myself, Mike Knox, Jackie Consult, and we are talking about the Top 5 WrestleMania shows from top to bottom from the very beginning where it all started at WrestleMania 1, leading all the way up to WrestleMania 9. Now, for Mike Knox, Dr. Sensei, King Ball Jr., I am the Silent taking on behalf of Mike Knox. Do not wake up tomorrow morning and say to yourself, some viewers may find the following video disturbing viewer discretion is advised some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Lose it, bite my tongue for no one. No. I put you on blast. blast. So all the news channels, y'all can kiss my ass. Yeah. If a YouTuber, Google me, turn it up and play it. Hey. Cause many people think it, I just had the balls to say it. So, you ready? You ready? Let's, Let's go! go. At the money, now you're all what you getting in. Perfect Flex Radio, got him listening. Mike Knox, from Cena to The Rock, or whatever wrestler is hot. News and interviews, it's a one-stop shop.